And welcome back to Cigar Time, your friendly neighborhood television show all about premium, premium cigars. cigars. That was pretty good. That was that pretty was good. good. Thanks. I was a little hesitant there, but we'll I got only it. had seven years to perfect it. I know. <laughs> well, our Art's perfected it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. He has I mean, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, that's 50 seconds. So welcome back. How was everybody? Good. Good. Moose, it's good to have you back again. Good to be here. Thank you. I'm yeah. glad you're here. What? Yes, and yeah. Oh. Meaning good Stop. to be here. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So. We can just smoke some? Yes, now. Thank All you. All right. <sighs> Scott, what are we smoking here? It is called the Las Calaveras, and we are smoking this specifically because it is a cigar distributed by Crown Head Cigars, but made by My Father Cigar Company. Um, those of you who are diehards remember we smoked the Florida Las Santillas last week, which mm -hmm. was from my father because we are having an event this Friday in Colmar with My Father Cigar. So we thought we'd do something um, from my father that was different. Uh, they make cigars for a couple of other uh, companies. Uh, they make La Roma de Cuba, um, for and San Cristobal, they make that mm -hmm. yeah. for mm -hmm. Ashton. Um, they make the Tatuaje for Tatuaje. Um, <laughs> and then they, they make uh, the, the Las Calaveras for Crown Heads. Um, this is the eighth iteration of this cigar uh, from, Crown, from uh, Crown Heads. Uh, every year they come out with a, uh, a limited, it's, it, it's limited production. Um, they usually, retailers scoff them all up as soon as they can get them. Mm -hmm. um, it's an extremely popular cigar. Every year it's a different blend. This year the wrapper is a, a darker Ecuadorian. I don't know if it's Ecuadorian Sumatra or Ecuadorian Ecuador or Ecuadorian Ecuador. Ecuador. That's a new um, one. I, I would imagine that it's a sun-grown Sumatra. Okay. So that makes sense. Uh, yeah. And the filler and binder are both Nicaraguan. Cloud, yeah. Um, so a little, a little background mm. on this. Las, uh, Calaveras is actually, um, I guess, Spanish, but it means skull. Um, and the Calaveras is a symbol of the, uh, I'm going to mess this up, but Dia de los Muertos in Day, Mexico. Day of the Dead. Correct, yep. Day of the Dead. It's uh, held November 1st and 2nd in Mexico. Um, and it's where they, uh, the Mexicans actually honor, uh, honor the dead. And one of the cool things about this is there on the either side of the band, there are gold coins that uh, Crown Heads or John Huber uses to honor uh, people who have passed from the company. So he goes the whole, the whole f you know, nine yards with this. Um, and there's also on the, it's not on the cigar band, but on the lid of the cigar box, which we do not have here, there's also a Calaveras or a skull. So. Is that a box right there? There's no lid on there's it. There's no lid on so it. Wow. He's got three coins on this band. Yeah, I noticed there's three one on one side and two on fountain? the other. Huh? Are they in a fountain? Three coins <laughs> in a fountain. No, no, no. no, 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 no. It's no. a different part of the world. SC well, yeah. on one side. I can't, I can't, I'm, I can't see. Yeah, I, I'm yeah, blind. I'm blind too. All I can see is three. Right. <laughs> so that's all you got. Well, it might but be covered up by a... They're very, very fine cigars made by uh, my so father's cigar good. company, which some of you may know as... Dom Pepin, which, I don't know, do they make any bad cigars, Dom Pepin? Not really. Haven't found one yet. Uh, hmm. Did they make the Master Blend 3? Uh -uh. That's a great cigar. Why are you making a mess? Because uh, he's okay. a slum. We need to kill time on the show. <laughs> so everybody can stare at him making a mess. That's we good television. We need the cleaning lady. Do you watch that show? Oh, yeah. The cleaning lady? Mark no. and I are hooked on that. The cleaning lady. I haven't seen it. Although I can't see them taking it more than uh, maybe two seasons. I can't see them. I've seen the first four, se four three or four episodes. Mm -hmm. I can't see them passing five episodes <laughs> because it's basically <laughs> the same thing. Do you guys ever do that in the stores? Do you I like the cigar with cedar? Yeah. Ever? Absolutely. Do I? No, but I've, I've got customers that do, so I do keep them out for them. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah we do the same thing. I, I, I love it. I, I rarely do it. It does change I, the taste of the cigar. I love it. It's just, like you said, it's so messy, man. It is. It's just, 
And that's, those, and here's the those other thing. Have to be you get the cigars that are, they have a, a cedar wrapper on them. Then you use that and cedar? Oh, no, 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 no. That. Good they Lord. use that cedar, then they put it in the ashtray, standing up, and then light it on fire. Oh, yeah. And it burns down and scores the ashtray. Yeah. Oh, I've done that's that many wonderful. Times. <laughs> yeah. But it does change the initial taste of the cigar when you light it that way. I yeah, and I a, like it's a very clean right burn and it adds yeah. sort of a brightness to the flavor mm -hmm. of the cigar. <coughs> nah, yeah, I think it, it, it makes it taste like cedar. Yeah, it's because you get a little hint of cedar when you do it that way. Instead of sulfur or butane or whatever you right. get lighter with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you guys had the cigar before? Mm -hmm. I have, yes. Actually the yellow? Yeah. I like this blend better than the last the last blend. Every year it's a different color. Right. Yeah, I I like this one better than last year's, but the year before that, that was phenomenal. I yes. I honestly, the, year, the orange or white was just. I honestly don't remember that one. It wasn't the white. Yeah, it was one. orange. It was orange or, or orange or red. I think it was orange, and last year was green. And yeah. The green wasn't as good mm -hmm. as the orange. Was it green? Mm -hmm. Last year's was. Yeah, this was last year's. Well, well, you know, the know. previous one. The previous one, yes. That was right. What so, Scott, what what's you tell us about the blend then? That it's good? It's Nicaraguan uh, filler binder and the wrappers. Uh, Ecuador. Ecuador. I'm, yeah, I would mad venture to say it's Ecuadorian it's Ecuador Sumatra. Ecuador Ecuador Ecuadorian Ecuador. Ecuador. Ecuadorian Ecuadorian. Yeah. yeah. Well, isn't everything in Ecuador sun grown? Do they do cheesecloth there? No, they Cloud do clouds. Grown. Cloud grown. Oh, all right, cloud grown, sun grown. No, that's very different. Cloud in Ecuador? Yes, cloud very cloudy cloud grown is it comes out the same as shade grown. It comes out. How do they very so light? How do they know that's going to be cloudy or not? They it's only it's cloudy. It's all cloudy, cloudy three hundred days a year. Okay, then then how do they do sun grown in Ecuador? Well, that's a very tough undertaking. So how do they know when it's going to be sunny? They move the tobacco around? No. Oh, they there's know the sun. <laughs> they know, it, it, you know, you're almost right. They. Uh, I don't think there's an almost involved. Traveling yeah, flatbed trucks, they move them around to where the. I know the, the answer the, to this. The, so plants, really the plants are in trucks, and they drive the whole plantation <laughs> from one spot to another to catch a little bit of sun. That's why sun-grown Ecuadorian is so expensive. Do they actually know when the sun's gonna? Yeah, every day, at about four o'clock in the afternoon, the sun drops below the cloud cover. And from that point until sunset, you get intense direct sun. But only those plants. What about the other ones that are only cloud grown? Well, those are cloud grown. It's th it's like but it's only on the side the of the mountain. Cloud grown is just well, like putting yeah. up the cheesecloth or the muslin and letting it filter through. The sun still filters through the cloud enough. I understand the difference, but but this it, Paul, you, you, you didn't real, say it's the on real a secret to sun growing in Ecuador is you have to put it on the western side of a hill. You don't move it around. No kidding. <laughs> Gee, oh. oh. But you, you, what you do is you plant on the really west side drive of the around. hill, and that way when the sun does drop down, you have full exposure to that direct sun. That's the way to do sun growing in Ecuador. Unless you want to do it, like, on the side of a volcano. I don't want to do it at all. I just want to smoke it. Yeah. Here, well, here. with good reason. This stuff tastes good. It does. It's just really good. There's some people just say they come in. They say this. They just don't like sun grown, which I like. It's okay, but I, I think it. it There's certain sun grows I don't like. Adds, I think it adds flavor. Well, that, it, but that could it might not be because of the sun grown. It could be because of the the rest of the blend. Well, like the Opus is a sun grown Dominican. That's horrible. Uh, most of them. Some are some are okay, but I, I wouldn't know go with horrible. Well, it's VST not something I enjoy. Well, then it's too. horrible. I don't enjoy horrible things. Why not? Well, this is a very argumentative show today. Yeah, I'm in a bad mood. Started early this morning. Well, I, oh, we I, should, sh we should I should get cranky. cranky. I should get grouchy now too, just to fit in. <laughs> no. But I don't know. How I'm to just do gonna that. sit here and <laughs> drink my coffee, smoke my smoke. Smoke cigar. Yeah. I think the hell with all three. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, agree with me. Um, <laughs> okay. I was gonna say, correct me if I'm wrong, but just agree with but me. But you're never wrong, so. No, I just don't talk about things talk if I think I'm wrong. Of course I think I'm right. I wouldn't have said it if I didn't think I was right. Okay. They, the, the leaves, when they, they're sun-grown, don't they grow thicker? And they, they end up, they I think because of that, they end up being 
they, they try to protect themselves from the sun by growing thicker. So they and produce they, more oil. Right, and, and they more become, flavorful. Yes, they yeah. become more physically robust and they become more flavorful. So you do agree with me? Sadly, yes. <laughs> so you're like Rob. Well, I don't, I don't know how much I begrudgingly like Rob. agree with you. Did you know what? Um, that gruntled is a thing? Gruntled? Yes. Well, it has to be. As opposed to the opposite of disgruntled? Yeah, it has. Gruntled must be happy. It, yeah, pretty much. You know, content. I'm very gruntled with the cigar so far. You're gruntled with it. Yes. You're something, all right. <laughs> there's, there's one other thing in between that. I don't give a flying. Gruntled? <laughs> No. Flying, I don't give a flying gruntle. The grunt. other word I, like I can't that. say. I don't give a flying gruntle. <laughs> I like that. Wasn't there a fairy tale about gruntle? That's Hansel She had and very long <laughs> <Hansel and Grunzel. laughs> No, no. <laughs> gruntle, gruntle, let down, let down your hair. She was up in a tower. That's it's Rapunzel. Oh, right. That's a problem none of us on this panel have. I'd like to, th I'd like to think down our hair. I'd like to think you did that on purpose, but okay. I'm guessing you. I did. No. Nah. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'll what correct are you, you when you're wrong. What are your first impressions? Thank you. I live for that correction. What are your first impressions? My first impression is this show is going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still better than the ones in Florida. <laughs> what are your first impressions of a cigar? I'm getting up. It's just strange, you know, given, given I've had the cigar before, but almost like a butter-like feel on my tongue. Like yeah. it feels kind of like smooth or creamy or something. The smoke is oily. Mm -hmm. It almost it's feels like, like oily in your mouth. Yeah. Yes. Um, so you were right. God, I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need a cold shower now, or a hot shower. A hot shower. I hate yourself too. <laughs> What else am I getting from this? Well, there's some pepper right up front. I'm not getting a lot of pepper. I'm getting no. I, I want to say it, but I, I, that the reason I went back and wanted to do it again is because if, I feel like I always think there's pepper or cocoa. I mean, All right, let's change it. We'll call it habanero. <laughs> no, it's not that kind of pepper. I had a cigar last night that was just, it wasn't hot, but it gave me the, it gave me the feeling of red pepper flakes all across my tongue, but it, it didn't. I didn't want to describe it as spicy, but it had that tangle. Had that, yeah, but I'm, yeah, I'm. It's 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 a combination of a little bit sweet and also spice at the same time because I'm feeling it like right behind the tip of my tongue. Yes, like uh, like straight across the, the I guess you call them the front half of the tongue. But I think the backbone of the flavor here is earthy. Mm -hmm. More than any, the spice fiddles around at the top of your, mm -hmm. you know, at the front of your yeah, palate. Yeah, yeah. But the basic flavor is earthy. Moose, what do you think? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a technical phrase. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just not sure what therapy is. <laughs> yeah. uh, What's that? I, I just, I'm never sure exactly what earthy is. Like, it tastes like it's fresh out of the soil. Come not on, that it tastes eaten, like you've dirt. You've never eaten dirt? It's not that it tastes like dirt. It does Necessarily, it right. <laughs> I mean, we've got people in the panel who've I mean, eaten I, I think I, I have used that description before, but I think it's because I've heard other people use the description of a cigar as earthy, and I'm smoking it. Okay, that must be earth. And then I'll smoke another cigar, and I'm like, okay, earth. But musty? Is musty earth? or well, musty It musty. can be, but that's pejorative. And earthy is not. The hell? Dan, did that hurt to say? <laughs> I'm just it pejorative. barely made it out of my mouth. <laughs> um, Can you spell that? P E R. No, I think you screwed it up already. I think there's a J in there. It's P R E. No, it's not. Pejorative? It's P E R. Oh, okay, he's right. Thank you. I feel better already. Um, Continue with your pejorative statement. No, I think. I'm very loquacious uh, today. I think musty. <laughs> Damn, is my ears is are negative. How's that? That's a shorter word. Oh, yeah. Musty is negative and earthy is not negative. And if you really, really want to know sort of the, the definition of earthy in a cigar, pick up another cigar made by my father called um, The Mexican Experiment. It's in the Tatuaje yeah, group. Is. It used, it's the first time he used Mexican tobacco in a blend. 
as the rapper, and it is truly, truly earthy. All right. I'm going to go back. I'll try one. This wrapper is very oily. You can see it around the burn mark. You can see how dark it is mm -hmm. from the oils. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Very tasty. Yeah, I'm not getting much pepper from this at all. It backed off it's almost it instantly after yeah, lighting it. And that's why, I, that's why again, I wanted to go back and I took that second, I had that Cezura there and took a second puff. Because Cezura. Look at it. He's being loquacious too. <laughs> Folks, excuse these guys. They ate a dictionary this morning. Um, <laughs> yeah, and boy, did it taste bad. <laughs> because I, I, I wasn't sure, like, is it really spicy or am I? It, no. It was there, but. Which th I think happens a lot with cigars is the spice is a lot of times up front and it I don't know yes mine I, don't know. Mine, my, I got the spice too mine's mellowed out so really here's, nicely here's a question yeah, and, and I guess this is probably for Paul since he's better at faking stuff than we are when you get this does the spice go away or does your tongue adapt to it like your eyes adapt to the dark it means that in the blend there were. Um, Areas that had more concentrated oil in the tobacco and kick up more of whatever flavor you're going to get. And then you smoke through that spot and there's something else going on. So it's not, it's not to just put a couple peppercorns in the front of the cigar? No, <laughs> nor is it that they put a couple of leaves in the front of the cigar that are more peppery. It's just a whole leaf doesn't taste this. If you made a cigar out of one leaf and smoked it end to end, it would, it would not taste the same. Right. It would still evolve and change. So the pepper comes and goes. All right. So uh, that I mean, I, what that was a, 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 I never thought about that before. But I was wondering, maybe does my is my tongue getting used to it, or does it go away? It's less that. Okay. Um, and most people that want to blend a peppery or spicy cigar typically put it up front. That's sort of the done. Excuse me, the Don Pepin profile. It's the yeah. uh, AJ Fernandez profile. It's a, it's a Nicaraguan profile, so I think, in they, general. If they took the leaf, the cutting that they're they're using, and they turned it around, the cigar could end up being different. It could, um, but some people like to blend specifically so that it builds up, and you don't get the pepper at the beginning. You get it a little bit at a time, and it builds up as you go, and at about three quarters of the way, that's when you get all the pepper. It's a harder way to blend. Mm. I understand what you're saying, because that, that would be interesting. If you took turn the, the same, turn the leaves around, the, the filler leaves around. Like if you have this bunch here, and you're going to roll it, and this is the cap, and this is the foot, take it and turn it this way and see if you get a different cigar. You know, different I taste. Mean, I was thinking a lot. You know, different I taste. That. I'd be like, let's see, let's see these cats. That would check. Be, let's, let's see if they figure this out. That but would be interesting. That would be interesting. And I've never done that. What, what I have done, though, is taken not short filler, but tear a leaf that's really, really peppery and don't put it at the front. Put it in the middle. Mm -hmm. Or add more Lajero to the back half of the cigar than the front half. Right. So that when the flavors start to flatten out, all of a sudden they kick back up. It is pretty interesting when they when you see them bunching the cigars because they'll have four or five different piles of tobacco and it all has to go in a sp very specific place. Like like you said, they'll snap a little bit off and put it lo locate yep. it in every every buncher, which is the they they have a roller who does the wrapper and a buncher who does the rest. But uh it's it is interesting. I, I actually actually I did that at the My Father Factory. Was uh, I did the whole bunch and filling and it in? Uh, and yeah, yeah. And, and, and did you use the device? Yeah, the Lieberman device. Lieberman. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that Joel Lieber? No, no. no. <laughs> and I and I won a copy by knowing that. But no, no, the best, no the best I had cigar? the actually I had the best yeah the best rolled cigar judged by Don Pepin himself. Wow, I can't tell you how nervous I was. <laughs> <laughs> how many other people did it? Like ten of us, maybe. Really? Yeah. And I actually, I actually went first. Like I didn't, I didn't have the chance to well, learn it's from not everybody the first, else. It's not the first time you've rolled a cigar, though. A lot of those people, other people, were probably first timers. Okay. Maybe I rolled it twice. Like no. I think it. No. When? We did it at. Um, Camacho. Camacho. And that's it. I don't think I ever did it. Oh, I Adelaide. did it. I did it at J.C. Newman. No, I know. Uh, you used a machine. I did not. That's what I was gonna. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> 
To not use a machine. Yeah. Um, hmm. It's hard. Where else it's did we go? very difficult. Did we do it at Rocky? I didn't go. For the 9,000th <laughs> time, I did not. I've only been to Honduras once. Really? Yes. I thought you were with me on that show. I made cigars down in uh, general. Is it, yeah, 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 I know you did. Yeah. 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 yeah uh, when uh, you and Kenny went. Yeah, when Kenny and I went yeah. down, we'd rolled our own cigars. Well, I rolled a few at my factory when I had one. Oh, wait a and minute. the entire staff of the factory basically invited me to never, never try never to do roll it again. a cigar again. <laughs> I did it at Davidoff, too, now that I think about it. See? I, okay, so there's the, three I, I, there's the three I referred to. Okay, but that's more than the other people have tried. It's not an easy you thing to that. do. It you looks, don't know that. I don't know that. It looks a I'm, lot easier than oh, it is. It's yes. Hard. It's and if you're a handshake, forget <laughs> about it. You have to know if it's a left-handed or right-handed well, leaf. Right. Too, but that's, yeah. that's so previous it's, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's really. It's really difficult. I can see after doing it for, like, if you sat there for a week doing it, it's like. Yeah. Hey, we, we, I had a, one of the rollers standing right behind me. You yeah. Know, telling me. Yeah, that I can't understand what they were saying, though. Oh, this guy spoke really good English. Wow. Real good English. I think it would be kind of neat on a future show for us to roll and to talk about the mechanics as we're doing it. Oh. I, I don't. We got six minutes. <laughs> well, I don't mean that. <laughs> I mean, it, it I would mean be on cool, but show. I, I don't know the, I mean, I don't know the mechanics, and I don't, I don't so know. So what's I everybody can, getting I can talk, and you can now. roll, and you can ask questions, and the things that occur to you that you would wish you knew as you were rolling right, this when you're not, yeah. As I wonder if I still have that lever in device up in Fulmar. Oh, you have one? I, I might. I don't we know. might have one here. Dan, Dan lived all over the place, actually. I have one of the uh, the cu the measuring cutters that well, they that use. That I definitely have. I have one that's over 100 years old. Wow. Well, I have one that's at least 16 years old. Do you get that when you were a kid? Do we have a Chevetta? I have Chevettas at home. No, I always wanted one. I heard it was the knockout from a, a saw. I heard well, that I mean, Chris, everybody oh, can make a Chevetta out of anything no, I, if they no, want to. No, I think Christian said that. Yes, he did. He did. When we were at, the, at this factory. It's the same shape as the handle and a saw. It is. Well, might be. I don't know. Well, that's a good idea, actually. Do we, we can get tobacco. Of course we can. Yeah, let's do that. I think that would be fun. I think that would be a great idea. Okay. We'll eat up some time. <laughs> All right. Let's give our final. Uh, no, I'm not ready for final one. All right, Moose, what's your final one? And put a number on it. What if I got text I'm going to read? Stop. Well, as everybody had said, I, I got the, the oil in this, the, the, mm -hmm. the, the smoothness in the tongue, and the, a little bit of pepper, and it mellowed out quite nicely. Um, it's really tasty and burns real well, constructed well. I gave it a nine. Okay. Paul? Other than that initial blast of pepper, or hint of pepper, I'll right. say, um, it's been a very mellow cigar. It's got a ton of flavor. Mm -hmm. um, the earthiness predominates, at least I'm at the halfway mark. It hasn't backed off at all. Right. But I really enjoy it. It's smooth. It's, it's kind of, what's the word? It's an amiable cigar. Okay. It's not challenging in any right. way as you smoke it, and that's fine by me. I give it a 9.25. I like it. Okay. Now it's your turn. I'm getting somewhat of an acidic note now. Really? Yeah. It's uh, maybe uh, it's making my it's making me salivate a little bit. Um, the spice is there a little bit, but it is definitely backed off. I'm not getting that buttery um, sensation that I got at the beginning of the cigar. Um, I'd give this an 8.75. All right. And Rob? Um, I agree with a lot of what everybody says, but I'm getting a creamy taste. Like all, it, it coats my entire palate. Yes. It's very clean. Um, it does have that, through the retrohale, you definitely get the earthiness, the real earthiness through it. And it's a very pleasant retro hell. I could I could retro hell this entire cigar. A lot of cigars you can't do that with. It doesn't burn in your right, nose. Right, does not burn at all through your nose. It actually it did on mine. Did it really? Maybe Ooh, you have a cold. Yeah. Well, you have a longer nose. I wanted to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you didn't. Why? I don't know. 
but and blown ashes yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's very pleasant. I like the cigar a lot, actually. I I, I agree with you guys. Nine two five. This would be a good end of the day cigar. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a good dog walking cigar. Yeah. I've never smoked this size. I've always had the smaller cigar. I think this is the L fifty six. I think it's a fifty six ring by. Yeah, I, I, this is, is L. this. Uh, a little fat. It's a little bigger ring gauge than I'm than I prefer, but um, it's smoking very nicely though. Too mm. small for me. Too size. Too small. <laughs> for me. I know you're a size queen. I know. And again, we decided to smoke this because it's made by my father's cigar company, mm -hmm. and we're having an event this Friday from four to eight in in Colmar. Um, you'll meet Tommy McCormick, our uh, rep extraordinaire. Okay. Uh, there'll, there'll be food. Um, he's going to have specials on everything from. Uh, my father's cigar, and we're actually giving away the perfect time of the year. We're giving away one of those big mushroom type heaters. Oh, so, cool. the lucky, uh, we'll have a drawing for that. So, one lucky participant will win that, which is again, it's the end of end of February, going into March, where it's it's cooler, but it's that Not heater will, cold. Yeah. It's it's enough for a heater. So, anyway, yeah. So again, we're on. we're smoking the Las Calaveras uh, twenty twenty one. Yes. With the yellow label. The yellows are different colors. I wonder what color this year's are going to be. Chartreuse. Chartreuse. <laughs> I don't know. It's been white, red, green, purple. Yeah, the ones are purple. It's probably double white. I don't know. I wonder if they'll go with black. Well, it makes sense, out. Mark. Yeah. Black. No. Mark's not dead. Where's that? Never mind. So what else is going on? <laughs> we, we got another minute left. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing going on? Nothing. I say we just... Moose House King of Pressure. King of Pressure is doing great. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, I was, just there, I was just there. Yes, I heard. Yeah. I heard the boys told me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, that was my one of my days off. So yes. I didn't get to see it. There are some interesting things. <clears throat> In the last 50 seconds. <laughs> no, they're not that interesting. <laughs> I can't condense them down to 50 seconds. It'll have to be next week. Well, don't forget to uh, watch the uh, outlet show, which comes next. Um, you'll have some great buys on there. There's actually some interesting cigars on that, some new cigars in the packs. Yeah. That yeah, we're gonna I, I'm excited about those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the prices are unbelievable. One of, one of them is over 50, almost 57% 57. 57 off, so... You want pepper cream? Too? That that pack, no. no. But th that one has a a it does have a Caldwell Lost and Found in it, though. So and it's got a black dragon, Gurkha black dragon. <laughs> so thanks for watching and um, smoke them if you got them. Ciao for now, everybody. Life's smoke too short happy. to smoke cheap cigars. <laughs>